Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my recent Amazon beauty haul. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about beauty. Alright, first I picked up the Ardell, um, what are these? The Ardell Individual Lashes. Um, I've been wanting to do some, you know, a little extra on my, on my, uh, lashes, but I don't think I'm good with the whole, you know, full set yet, <laughs> so I'm gonna start off slow. I have worn full sets before, but it's summer, and I don't know, I just feel like it's just, it's for, like, a glam do, maybe, so this is more for, like, an everyday thing. Um, these are the short black individuals, so I can't wait to play with them. Next is the NYX HD Concealer, and I got this for highlighting because I'm running out of my Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer and I wanted to try something new. Alright, so my shade is CW03, and that's in light. So we'll see how it works. Hopefully it'll end up in my favorites. <laughs> oh, let's get this baby open. So... A doe foot applicator, and that's what the other one was, so looks nice and creamy. And I can't wait to see how it blends. Hopefully, well. <laughs> if it's not as light as I want it to be for highlighting, then I'll probably end up using it, you know, for concealer. Next is a Maybelline Expert Wear Twin Eye and Brow, and I talked about this in my last video. And this I use for my brows, <laughs> um, usually for an everyday look. Or if I do use my my um, dip brow, I use this to outline because I still haven't aced the brush yet. So I outline with the pencil and then I'll go in and fill with the dip brow. You know, practice makes perfect. But I don't think I could ever let these go. I'm not going to open these yet because I'm still halfway through, you know, the last one I have. So I'm just going to... Put this on back stock. <laughs> Next is something else by Maybelline. I would I've been wanting to try this. It's the Master Precise um, Ink Eyeliner. So I have the Master Drama Eyeliner. I think it's called. This one is in black. Okay, so as for the eyeliner. So it's felt tip. And that's usually what I've been used to using ever since I started. But, you know, the cat eye effect. Okay. So supposedly you can get detailed with this, and so far so good. <laughs> I drew, I, I drew y'all a little heart. Couple more things. Uh, this one is the e.l.f. Studio Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloth. And ever since I started YouTubing, these have come in handy for swatching. <laughs> um, I recently ran out of my Neutrogena ones, and I figured these were like a deal, you know? Not a deal, a steal, actually. Um, what I like to do on Amazon is they have the add-on items, and so if you add on enough of those items up to, I think, $35, it's free shipping. And... Those items are also discount. I also got some bathroom things, you know, some lady products, if you will. Um, I got I, some Dial soap. I use Dial. I use bar soap. Um, I like to use them for makeup brushes, and I like to use them, you know, for my body and shaving. Um, of course, the makeup brushes have their own bar of soap. <laughs> so anyways, um, I was getting the cranberry one for the longest, and then I saw the white peach with shea butter and I had to try them because of the shea butter and I thought I got a 10 pack but I ended up getting two 10 packs so I have 20 bars of soap so yay me I think I'm set for the year um but I am happy with it nonetheless so yay and the shea butter is moisturizing not just for my body but for my brushes so so it's win-win right these I've had before um, they work well. I don't usually use wipes for my face unless I'm wearing heavy, heavy makeup or, I don't know, I'm oily and I'm not wearing makeup that day and I just want a quick cleansing. 
but if I am wearing makeup, if I have to, I'll go in with these and then I'll still wash afterwards. They're pretty sturdy too. They smell clean, they smell good, they're soft. They get the job done. Mm hmm. So, yeah. They stretch, they don't tear easily unless you maybe force it. Ugh. Um, so they're pretty dur durable and they're a nice size. Let's see how many come in here. 20. And I think it was $30. $3. It sounded like I said $30. Hey, you can get these on Amazon. You can get these on the e.l.f. site. Either way, I recommend them. I recommend e.l.f. in general. Like, they're a pretty good brand. You can get their stuff for cheap. And Oh, my last thing is already up on my wall. I, uh... I was going to put it around to that side of the wall. But I think I'm going to get another set and add... They were pretty cheap. I think they were either 13 or 16 bucks. And they twinkle. They have like, I think, seven settings maybe. And this is like the fairy twinkle one. Um, so it's kind of like on top of my vanity and like just kind of strewn about. Maybe I'll do a vanity tour. Um, I don't have a lot of makeup, so it'll like be a five minute video, but you know, I'd like to share my setup with y'all and maybe y'all could like, you know, get ideas if y'all are looking into maybe setting up a vanity with things you already have in the house. Like, I don't have anything fancy. So yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Check out my other videos and I think I have, what did I mention last time, my brush collection video and I'm probably gonna do like a get to know me tag. You know, just to throw some things out there, you know, fun facts and whatnot. Um, so yeah. yeah thank you for watching, and see y'all in my next one. Bye! Add to my makeup collection, because I... because makeup! <laughs> no. All right. Next is the Maybelline Expert Wear. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> and these I've had before. Gosh, I'm all over the place today. I swear. Amazon haul.